When you walk along Queenborough High Street, you walk in the footsteps of kings, queens and heroes. Great Danish armies arrived on Sheppey in their longboats to kill and burn. They built forts at Sherland, Minster and Queenborough and turned Sheppey into a Viking stronghold. Canute and his army, after losing the battle, fled to Sheppey. Canute went on to become King of England. King Edward III and Queen Philippa built a castle at Queenborough, staying there even before it was completed and granted the town a royal charter in 1368. Henry VIII journeyed to Queenborough with Anne Boleyn on his ship the Minion and travelled on to Sherland Hall for an unofficial honeymoon. Queen Elizabeth I kept her fleet in Queenborough Harbour and would lease her ships out to privateers. They would raid Spanish ships and Elizabeth would expect a large cut of the profits in return. Sir Francis Drake, shortly followed by Sir John Hawkins and Lord Howard, the Lord High Admiral, left Queenborough with ships to fight and defeat the Spanish Armada. Sir Humphrey Gilbert, who lived at the gatehouse of Minster Abbey, left Queenborough to start England's very first colony and as such became the founder of the British Empire. King James II, fled to Sheppey, hiding at Neat's Court and King's Farm on Elmley. He was caught and would flee a second time, arriving at Queenborough, where a local fishing boat took him to France, never to return. Admiral Nelson took Holy Communion at Queenborough Church, and local people believe he and Lady Hamilton lived in a house on Queenborough High Street in the summer of 1801. William Hogarth visited Queenborough, referring to Queenborough girls as pretty damsels and beautiful nymphs. During World War II, ships from Queenborough and Sheness rescued 21,281 troops from Dunkirk. Queenborough minesweepers kept the sea lanes open, giving England the breathing space it needed to rearm after Dunkirk. They were the first vessels to arrive at the D-Day beaches. They opened up the Scheldt estuary and by so doing are credited with shortening the war. They opened up the Dutch ports, saving the lives of tens of thousands of Dutch people who were starving to death. They were the first vessels to arrive and shared their food with starving Dutch children.